Bulletproof Radio, a state of high performance. Here's the caveat, <laughs> and, and this is something that um, I've really looked at over the last 10 years, because intermittent fasting has been a core part of the Bulletproof diet. The book came out in 2014, but I started publishing it in 2011. And what I find is that especially people who have a lot of weight to lose, who haven't done you know long-term fast uh, like, like you do at your clinic, um, if they start doing intermittent fasting every day, they feel amazing for the first couple of weeks. But then, and women hit the wall first, they typically say, wow, my sleep quality just started declining and I don't know why. And then my cycle's off and then my hair starts thinning. And it usually takes about six weeks of every day intermittent fasting. And usually they'll say, I feel so good. I'm just going to go to one meal a day. And what I found is that that especially for women, but also for men with a lot of weight to lose, Intermittent fasting, three days, five days a week, but then having a, a morning breakfast. And in, in my my experience, you would want a higher protein, higher healthy fat, not higher any fat um, breakfast. But maybe you could do it with a high starch, low fat approach. It probably would work. But you, you do that sometimes, partly to keep the metabolic flexibility high, but also because fasting is a hormetic stressor. And I think they just get overstressed until they become acclimated to fasting, and then they can start doing everyday intermittent fasting. Right. Remember, though, um, that any time there's rapid weight loss, there's hormonal changes, that uh, whether it's pregnancy, okay, or whether it's fasting, or if you increase uh, activity significantly, anytime there's rapid weight loss, there are changes, and they, you may be right, these are maybe neuroendocrine-mediated or others, that be associated with temporary hair thinning. You don't lose any follicles. There's, it, what's happening is hair, you're under nutritional stress, the body uh, affects the hair growth, there's some conservation, everything comes out together. So there's what looks like thinning overall, hair integrity is maintained if if uh thyroid function is is normalized so i, I think it's a cortisol issue it, it they, they just cortisol because that affects the sleep and and then the thyroid and when the cortisol but, goes back down the hair follicles should come back so right? but well, if they, they just do have and breakfast we see this now and then, you know, it doesn't happen a month post long-term fasting you'll see this phenomena uh, frequently when there's been a lot of weight loss so i think what you're doing is anything you do to modulate how rapid that initial weight loss is probably modulates how i don't know that it's necessary because it's a temporary phenomena you know it, it, it's not associated with decreased physiological function it's just this is one of the things that happens is and it's just like you know initially there's more skin sag until the body's able to recover there's less of that with water fasting than there, in, there is with say uh high protein diets. so i, I